Good thing, one huge thing I want to talk about is earlier today it was reported that the Chamber of Commerce wants to set up some kind of coalition to fight against uh, term limits and that uh, some of their tactics may include uh, removing term limits from the ballot via lawsuit. Now, number one, this should never be allowed on a ballot initiative, uh, especially when that ballot initiative has already been approved by the Attorney General and has been around for a year. Uh, of course, the uh, leftist activists were able to throw out the Arkansas Marriage Amendment law uh, after it had already been on the, after it had been approved by an attorney general, uh, had signatures gathered for it, put on the ballot, and then a vote approved. Somehow, there's there seems to be no statute of limitations on when these big organizations can file a lawsuit. No, I'm not going to let you in. idiot was trying to get in front of me over on 630 like they were in a hurry or something. Um, what was I talking about? Oh yeah, um, anyway, these folks have, have already decided that uh, the fight against Arkansas turn limits, and this is mainly the Randy Zook's Chamber of Commerce. Uh, uh, the Chamber of Commerce has basically been uh, the most, uh, probably the most leftist anti-American organization that's out there now. When you consider a uh, right next to ISIS and some of the other terrorist groups, and you consider some of the stupid things they've supported, uh, like amnesty for illegals, uh, on, a, on a state and a national as well as a state and local level, uh, special election tax increases, uh, the North Little Rock Chamber of Commerce pushed for that, and the crook there I think is John Owens. Uh, special election tax increases across the state. Uh, they they testified against special election reform and most likely were the ones that were calling James Sturch when he did the famous Sturch Lurch, this cowardly effort or, or when he had to be in his seat for a, uh, a calling a, a procedure known as sound the ballot. He got up and left and then came back. Uh, and other cowardly acts. And basically they, they, they throw their crony capitalist money around and use it to influence both political parties. And they're all responsible for a lot of these economic development boondoggles that we have. Uh, Arkansas Works, uh, Obamacare, Medicaid expansion. I mean, they're basically uh, pro-leftist, pro-socialist, pro-crony capitalism type folks. But anyway, the, the I'm kind of letting folks know about this now that the Chamber of Commerce is really, you're in that much of a hurry. Stupid in the Cadillac pickup. You know, a bunch of dumb folks that are just didn't signal, almost got hit. But anyway, um, of course, I helped gather signatures for ten limits. I urge others to, to now get out and support and and make and you know, con contact all your representatives, contact folks, and let them know that uh, the Chamber of Commerce's cowardly tactics on this and other issues shouldn't be tolerated. Uh, I'm getting sick of having to deal with their crap. Um, I mean, it's basically crony capitalism. I know a lot of businesses and organizations are part of this group, and most of them have no say into what it is they say or do. If they did, uh, it's kind of almost like the unions or some of these other big organizations that claim to represent people or organizations, but they don't. Uh, like these Latin American groups that claim to, that all they cheerlead about is illegal immigration. That's the only thing that supposedly matters, and in reality, jobs are actually the number one issue. And of course, now they're anti-Trump. The Chamber of Commerce is anti-Trump as well, but of course, they won't admit it. Uh, they, they wanted Jeb Bush or other rhinos to take in power. And, you know, they're a large reason for why the size and scope of government keeps increasing on us and the national as well as state and local level. They are part of the swamp uh, on these type of, on the state and national local level. And it is, they're one of the problem, biggest problems that Donald Trump is facing as well as, you know, you know, folks that are trying to reduce the size and scope of government. So... You can check. Um, I'll, I'll post this onto a video. I'll try to see if I can add some pictures to it to kind of follow along with it. And you can check us out on uh, my YouTube channel, uh, uh, Keep Arkansas Legal. I also have a huge tube channel, UGE Tube channel, uh, that has the it's also the same Keep Arkansas Legal. And of course, I have a GoFundMe page. So. Um, 
I do try to film events uh, off and on, live stream them as well, uh, but I kind of have to, I'm having to pay other bills while I'm doing that, so um, any help can be appreciated, but uh, anyway, that's kind of what I was ta- uh, going to chat about for a little bit. Uh, most of what you hear on the national news, on the radio, and on the TV is about Omarosa and Russian dossier and, and this stupid little attempt to get at Trump, uh, which is never going to happen, and these international deals, North Korea, and most of it's other crap that you can't really deal with. It's just, it's just, it's just designed to get headlines, and sadly, it's, it's, it's kept a lot of people from getting involved in local elections. Uh, I know my primary here in the state of Arkansas had only 18% turnout. Uh, there's a special election that's going on in Rogers right now. Matter of fact, the polls just closed for it. Um, and it's probably going to get, you know, 5 maybe 10% uh, over a $300 million tax increase. Uh, the turnout on these special election tax increases is, is even lower. And it's really sad because it's, a, it's where a lot, millions of dollars and lots of policies are decided. But anyway... Uh, that's kind of what I was just wanting to rant about. And that's about it.